hi guys this is paint her francois here welcome back to another video this is going to be another creative session um, before i start anything i'm just going to ask you guys to please subscribe and follow all of my social platforms if you don't know who i am my name is dominic i am a visual artist and a portrait painter i'm so used to using acrylic paints oil paints but today we are going to be using oil pastel as you can see here in my crayon box i have all my pastels um, i use q-tips to blend things in so you'll see that later in the video if it does apply um, but grab your sketchbooks grab your oil pastels if you don't have any grab some crayons it's the same principle um, and this is a good video for anybody who's curious about how oil pastel works um, if you're curious about portraits and blending colors I will be your test dummy for today I have no idea what I'm doing I don't know how good this will turn out but I'm curious I want to try this out um, I've been loving oil pastels lately it's just really fun to play with and it's good to step outside of what I'm normally used to so this portrait is going to be of one of my supporters this person is amazing they always support my business so i did ask that they were okay with me doing a portrait of them and they were totally okay with it and this beautiful photo as you can see these are the great colors i'm going to be using to get the skin tone and the clothing that you see from the reference photo oil pastel is pretty sticky and tricky um, colors can actually get mixed up with it because it is very oily so I'm gonna warm up the colors by taking any page or any scrap sketchbook like you see here and I'm just cleaning up each oil pastel that I'm using and also warming up the colors so that when it comes time to actually apply it onto the canvas or the paper it will go on really smoothly and it will be easier to blend in with other colors now I recommend doing this before you start any drawing with oil pastel it gives you a very clean palette with your materials and it also gives you an opportunity to actually look at your color palette and see how your colors could potentially look before you apply it onto the paper this is technically my notes I'm going to be referring to this page to see what colors actually look well against each other or next to each other I'm using colors that are not actually in the reference photo I just always believe if you use more colors than what's actually there it looks really nice and more realistic so I'm just gonna speed up this process I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just trying to test out where my highlighted areas are going to be in my dark areas and we're about to see how this turns out. So you'll notice at this point it doesn't really look like I've gotten much done honestly it's because I'm afraid but to be safe I've created a boundary by tracing out the lines um, in the areas where I'll know I'll be coloring inside of and because I have this video sped up you can't really see but going with this oil pastel it does get really clay like and clumpy so I've been using a paper towel or q-tip and I've been adding oil to it to spread out the colors so that's easier for me to layer different colors on top of it so um, so far it's been working out for me I don't know what type of oil you should actually use on a flat surface with oil pastel I know there's different types I just use my basic kitchen vegetable oil. I don't use a lot of oil that will ruin the whole thing. It helps with blending because the oil is 
on the surface but not too much. Right now what you see is me putting an undertone of green. You don't see green on the paper but this helps a lot if you notice underneath the chin it's a cool area. Whenever you see a cool area on an image you use cool, um, cool colors. So green is what I've chose because I feel like that's the closest to it. I'd rather that be the first color there. So whatever color that I put on top will blend in really well. It won't just be a flat surface of black. Um, I believe this is like a deep blue and it will help give that proper shade that you see in the original reference photo. To be honest, I'm loving the way this is turning out. I love how messy it is. I've learned to appreciate the mess that comes out of my original work. I don't seek to perfect things because I'll probably overdo it and wind up hating it but I love how patchy and clumpy and how messy everything looks and different colors everywhere I don't know over the years I just learned to appreciate my mistakes more because if I don't as an artist I probably would have thrown all of my artwork away <laughs> but yeah I, I love this I love the direction it's going in You'll notice in the reference photo, there is a background, kind of like a swampy, dark background. And I've chosen not to put one in. I always get nervous about backgrounds too. That's one of my things that I, I guess I need to work on, but I love how creamy and chocolatey the skin is. And I'm afraid to mute it out if I put in a darker background, I still want the colors of the face to stand out so I've chosen not to put the same background that you see in the reference photo and I don't know I'm just trying to figure it out as I go and try to put like my own twist in the background for myself. So this is pretty hilarious to me. I had no idea what to do with the residue that the oil pastel has left behind. I tried my best not to smudge the image. I didn't want to mess up any of the colors that I already laid down. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. If you guys have ever worked with pastel or if you know someone who does, I mean, comment below. What do you do at this point when everything just kind of piles up um, I'm pretty sure there's a medium out there that I can use to apply to it to avoid all this clumpiness and this mess. Now as far as the background goes, this is a moment where I decide why not use other mediums. I'm already using oil pastel. I was inspired to go in with my color pencils, my markers. Um, I don't normally add flowers to my background so I'm really stepping outside of my comfort zone and just freestyling and just seeing how different mediums work together. This was so fun. 
I don't know, I hope this inspires you to just try different things. It really felt good and it was very pleasing to the eye to see how different things work together on one page. All right, this creative session was so much fun. I've learned a lot. Comment below if you like some more. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.